You start with hemp seeds and you refine them and you refine out the water and you refine out the fiber and you refine out. Are we making it more nutritious as we refine out things? Uh, we refine out the vitamins and the minerals and the phytonutrients and the antioxidants and the enzymes and the coenzymes and the carbohydrate and the fat. And what you get left with is a big can of protein powder. <laughs> the good stuff from hemp. And it's a calorie source, is it not? Protein? And has it been stripped of all of its constituent nutrients? And do we think of it as health food? Are we being sold it as health food? Are we buying it as, are we adding it to our fruits and vegetable smoothies as if it was health food? What kind of calories are they? Is it easy to see? Is there anyone who finds it difficult to see that protein powder in a can is absolutely empty calories? Admit it now, because it doesn't get easier from here. <laughs> All right, if you can see it's empty calories. And, and what kind of food do you make? when you add empty calories to your banana shake. Junk food, I heard it, right? Junk food, it becomes, and who's done it? We've all done it, and we've all done it in the name of health, no less. While we all knew at the time that whole foods were more nutritious than refined foods, we added refined foods into our whole foods in order to make them more nutritious. What a waste of health. And then we got smart. And we realized that if you start with parsley, you can refine out the water, and you can refine out the fiber, and you can refine out the carbohydrates and the proteins and the fats. You can refine out the vitamins. You can refine out the antioxidants and the phytonutrients and the enzymes and the coenzymes. You can refine out all the minerals. We've got the chemistry to refine all that out until the only thing that's left is selenium. And you can get byproducts, selenium, from parsley. It's called parselenium. And it's nothing more than pharmaceutical pure, dehydrated, crystal white powder, unlimited shelf life. Come on, the only stuff, it, it won't go bad. It has an unlimited shelf life. There's only one product in the world that won't go bad. Something that already went bad. <laughs> Otherwise it would still have in its future going bad. But it already went bad. If it won't go bad, it already is. And somehow, we take nutritional supplements, the most highly refined, vitamin A, vitamin B, vitamin C, whatever it might be, calcium, zinc, selenium, and on through the long range of supplements, and we consume them as if they were more nutritious than food while we already agreed that whole foods are more nutritious than refined foods, we go to the ultimate refined food and think that it's even more nutritious when it's actually the least nutritious, being sold to us as the most nutritious. Because we don't understand a simple concept about nutrition that we do understand. We don't apply it, even though we know it. And that is, we have been told over and over and over again that more equals better in the world of nutrition. While we're also being told that 99 point something, and there's different doctors discussing what the point something is while they're all agreeing on the 99, that 99 point something percent of all nutritional disorders in the United States are disorders of excess. 
we're still buying into the concept that more equals better in the world of nutrition. When we know that that is not the case, sunlight is a nutrient, and we all know it. Is more better? No. How much do you need? Enough. It's good to get some sun. You gotta have it. It's a source of vitamin D. It disinfects your skin. It penetrates your skin and disinfects your blood and lymph if you don't have too much fat on the surface for it to get through because it only penetrates about a half an inch down. Sunlight is an essential nutrient. If you try to live without it, you will die. Sooner than if you lived with it, because you're going to die either way. But we know that more is not better. And when people tell you about the best source of this or the best source of that, and invariably, even now, even having been preempted and warned, still, in your head, almost everybody in the room pats yourselves on the back for doing something that they're not doing. Because you hear the best source of this. And you tell me what's the best source of vitamin C? Orange. Orange. And you tell me what's the best source of potassium? Bananas. Bananas. And you tell me what's the best source of omega-3 fatty acids? Flaxseeds. Okay, flaxseeds. And you pat yourself on the back for doing something that you just didn't do even now. While I'm explaining to you and you're nodding, yeah, oh yeah, I get it now, you still don't get it. Because the best source does not equate to the highest source. That's what we've just been saying. The best source is the source that most closely mimics your nutrient need. The most nutritious foods are those foods whose nutrient content most closely mimics your nutrient needs. Not the foods that are the highest in this, that, or the other. What's the highest source of sugar that you can find? It's sugar in a bag. <laughs> but that's not the best source. The highest source and the best source don't equate. The highest source, when it comes to calories, is invariably... You see, is that an is or an are? The highest... They'll edit that out, don't worry. The highest source of... Now I don't know which it is. The highest source of calories are invariably, it is, right? <laughs> the highest sources of calories are <laughs> always empty calories. That does not make them the best source of those nutrients. And the highest sources of nutrients are always empty nutrients. We just don't use the phrase. What the heck are nutrients? Empty nutrients are nutrients that have been separated from their constituent other nutrients and calorie sources. And so when you buy vitamin A or you buy whatever nutrient isolate that you want to consider, those are empty nutrients. They've been separated from all their other nutrients. And as soon as you do it, you start buying into the concept that more is better when we know this is not the case. We know that you can die from an overdose of vitamin A. We know you can harm yourself from an overdose of any nutrient. And we know that health foods are called health foods specifically because their nutrient content most closely mimics human nutritional needs and we know that in the entire world, the only two groups of foods that are classed as health foods are fruits and vegetables. It's so simple sometimes that 
I wonder how do we manage to confuse it all up? <laughs>